<laughs> Burpity burp. Yes. burp. Our little goat, Maggie, has been having a problem with her leg. This is actually a follow-up. When we first brought her in, Dr. Hodges found that she has septic arthritis in her elbow. What's up? What's up? How y'all? Let's well, see, Maggie. So she's just not using it at all. She's just hopping. And it seems to be worse today. OK. She's heavy. She got a big fat Hello, baby. Hello, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. Hey. You smell sweet, huh? How's it looking, Doc? Well, definitely hot, inflamed. Septic arthritis is actually in the joint. That means you got what we call sepsis. That means a bacteria has made its way inside of the joint, and it is causing some arthritis and a lot of pain. I initially prescribed or antibiotics to Maggie, but this leg still seems to be warm and infectious, so Maggie could be in a lot of danger. I'm really worried about that septic arthritis. It can be a mess. Would it start affecting other joints yes. as it moves through? Yes. Let's go take a peek. I'll be right back, dear. My game plan today will be to do an x-ray, just look at his leg, as well as his complete blood count. The best case scenario with Maggie would be that we'd be able to get this infection under control and she's able to walk. Mm, it's all right. Mm. Good boy. There's a little swelling back there in the back. If I see some fuzzy here too, boss. Mm -hmm. Definitely not what I wanted with this recheck on maggot. It's definitely showing that this septic arthritis is not going away. Septic arthritis can be bad. You know, it may take months. Worst case, maybe amputating that leg. No. Yeah. Go get mom. Come on in. That white count is, it was 20, it's getting higher. Yeah. So, so that tells me, mom. For sure, still there. We definitely dealing with some infection there in the joint. It's actually migrating now into this leg now. So that's why this poor baby is hurting so bad. I'm gonna come up with a game plan. Give me a few minutes. Okay, okay great. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. These cases are really, really tough. I would put it at 50-50 that I don't have to amputate. The last thing I do is want this baby to be in pain, and if so, I'll take off that leg. What you got, bro? I'm thinking about just going injected directly into the Your joint. joint? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was mostly in this joint, now it's moved down. Mm. So how to go do on three legs? That's a good question. I mean, not right now. It may get there, but I probably just said, hold up, dog. So I say, man, just shaving and try. Yeah. Initially, I tried to do some oral antibiotics, but with this, we're taking the antibiotics right to the source of the problems of these joints. You ready, Doc? Yep. Uh, no. All right. So we're going to work that. I'm really worried about this goat. So we can give it our best effort and see if we can catch up to this infection. And hopefully that gives this goat some relief. We flush it, got it, uh, put it directly into the joint. We will see how we do. I want you to come back on Thursday. And if she's feeling well, I might add another procedure. So what would a time frame be with it spreading as rapidly as it has in the last week? I want to give every chance we can. Right. Because once I do it, I can't put it back. Right. But I said, let's at least give it a month. Thank you. No problem. All right, I'll see y'all Thursday. All right. All right. Well, Dr. Hodges wants us to come back in a couple of days and check her again. I feel good that he's wanting to take some time to try everything possible to avoid amputation or even having to put her down. She's such a good goat. You're willing to do whatever. She's too sweet. She's just too sweet to not go the mile for. I know, you see that treat jar. That's what you're looking at. 